What's up, ladies and gentlemen? BC here. Welcome back to another episode of Supreme Being. I titled this one, A Little Goes a Long Way. I don't know how long this one is going to be. We'll see. Um, I got some stuff, as usual, off the top of the dome that I want to talk about with you. But let's get into it. A little goes a long way. Look, I've been sharing my journey here online for about 10 years now. Okay. I started in 2013 in real estate and started making videos then. So it's been about 10 years now, literally. And one of the things I learned early on, you know, was to pay attention to the little details, the little stuff, right? And of course, you at the time, you're so new and everything is like Mount Everest. You're like, oh my God, you're trying to take everything in. Um, and sometimes it's tough for you to just stop and slow down and and understand that even if a lot of information is coming at you or you have so much at your disposal that you do need to take it a day at a time, a step at a time, right? So when I look back now over the last 10 years and I really put myself in the mind state and remembering all the moments early on, right? The day-to-day -day stuff, moment to moment, second to second, minute to minute, it really boiled down to this constant battle to keep it simple and focus on the little things. Like every day when I started in real estate, it was wake up on time, you know, follow your schedule, go to the gym, read, call people, right? Go door to door, follow up, like basic stuff, right? That I could count on maybe one hand was things I had to do every day. Read, work out, eat right, call people and, and knock on doors. That's it, like that's it. And then maybe shoot some videos, right? Which I did once or twice a week because I would do the bulk content. Like that's it, like that's it. It wasn't go to this festival and, you know, watch what other people are doing. No, it was like that. That's it. Now, the battle, the battle was distraction and all these other things, other people calling you, your family, right? And like all these uh, societal obligations, you know, oh, now it's the holidays. You're not supposed to be working, right? Like that's a constant battle and struggle with many of you, right? That's the human existence. We live in a world that is not conducive to getting the result that we want. It's actually the opposite. So when you look at it that way and you say, okay, that's the battle, because that's really what I can con uh, condense it down to. Yeah, I can talk about other stuff. Sure. But that's really what it was. You know, and when I stuck to that simple stuff, man, I was more fulfilled. I slept like a baby. I was getting better results. The eye was on the prize, right? I was focused on my goals. I was happier, full of enthusiasm, right? Life felt more under control. All the stuff that you deal with, right? Uh, in, in regards to the battles mentally and emotionally, they would be gone. But the days that I would allow the other things to distract me and I would get away from the simplicity of what I was actually supposed to do, man, like in the morning, dude, the workout in the cold shower for me, and I've been doing the cold therapy for a long time, right? If you guys don't know, because you're newer, I was a professional athlete for many years with basketball. I played overseas. So the cold ice baths and the ice plunges, I've been doing them for well over 20 years at this point, right? Since like my mid to late teens to recover better. And I loved it. They recommended it. Everybody else hated it, but I would do it and I would feel amazing after in the next day and I'd be less sore. So I kept doing it. Right. But you fast forward to my real estate career and, and getting into entrepreneurship, man, in the morning, if I worked out and did my cold shower, even if it was only for a couple minutes, I felt enthusiastic. I felt aware. I felt present in the moment. I felt energized. Right. I, I was ready to go. I'd already done a lot. I already built momentum. Now in the morning I would read too, and you know eventually added some short meditations and that kind of stuff. But just doing the simple things that little would prime me for the whole day. I wouldn't need a nap in the middle of the day. I wouldn't need energy drinks and coffee and all this other shit that people you know and all the marketing you know gets you right. They feed on your shortcomings because you get away from these basics. And when I would look at it, I was like, man, all these little details, these little things are what carry me through the day or give me the more momentum or acknowledging a little win, right? The fact that I did my morning prospecting, you know, and I talked to 25 or 30 people or 40 people in the morning before noon. Congratulations, man. Good job. Pat on the back. I'm not done for the day, but I can give myself some damn good credit because fuck, I did good. I did every single thing that I said I was going to do from waking up at five or 530 until noon. Congratulations, bro. You completed half a day perfectly. You executed like a champion. Even cheering for yourself like that for some of you seems, oh, you can't do that. That's arrogant. Oh, you're crazy. You see, that's society. That's everybody else. That's the losers telling you that. That's not the people on the side that you want to be on, which is accomplished, fulfilled, happy, enthusiastic, right? 
great communication, not insecure, right? Whatever you're dealing with. So get back to the little things, man. Picking up and reading, you know, even if it's 10 or 20 pages a day for you, just to, just to get you in the habit of doing it, right? Putting the phone down in the evening, waking up early, hitting the workout, right? Doing the cold shower, like pick four or five of those like small things. Say, I'm going to focus on this, man. I'm going to be on the phones every day at 8 a.m. I'm going to wake my ass up at six. Pick five, like five things like that because you know you can do it. You know you can do it and that in itself will build. Then you can add more, but start with that. The little stuff. Again, I'm looking back 10 years now, y'all. I'm in a different position now than I was when I first started teaching this stuff. Because now I have a track record. Now I have a long history. I've, I've been in this field for a decade now. So, you know, I can stand on a hill that very few people can stand on who are, you know, selling you stuff or delivering you advice. It's been proven now because I'm still here, right? I'm a man of my word. I embody and I live my philosophies. I, just, I don't just talk about them. But I really want you to, to ask yourself this. How can I simplify what I'm doing? How can I simplify my execution? And stick with that. Because when you do that, man, Doors will open up. You'll start getting results. Your mind will stop distracting you. You'll stop focusing on all the BS and get back to some of those basics, man. For some of you, you may need to establish some basic things. And I, like I said, pick five. Maybe it is waking up at six. Maybe it is a two or three minute cold shower. Maybe it is reading the you know 20 pages in the morning, right? That way you focus up. Maybe it is keeping your phone down and not checking your email or your social media until 12, unless you go on your phone to film a video and that's it. And then you post it at 12 or later in the afternoon, right? That's it. Or you go on to make your post and then that's it, right? Maybe that's a little detail that you need to do. Put the phone down. That's something I learned early on. Be media free until noon. No news, no phone. Try that, right? Because, oh, I, I need to produce. You're not even producing on social media. So that's not even an excuse. And even if it is, film your video, then post it later. But be media free. Try that for a week, right? That's a little detail. Man, I can't tell you the last time I watched the fucking news. 15 years? Even before I got into entrepreneurship because I knew that shit was poison for the mind. And I, I got on my parents who were with me this weekend. I love them. I don't know if you guys are listening. Mom and dad love you guys. But God damn, stop watching the fucking news. Bunch of bullshit. All it does is poison your fucking brain. And even they admitted it. And they still watch that shit. But you take that one thing away in their life, oh man, their fulfillment, their happiness, their enthusiasm for life would go up for sure. It would be a net positive effect absolutely with one small change. Change can be done. It's not easy in some cases, especially if a pattern has been embedded for a long time, but it can be done. We get in our own way when it comes to change. We are our own worst enemies when it comes to that, okay? But a little goes a long way, y'all. Focus on the little stuff. I'm going to wrap it up here. I don't want this to be too long. Pick, right? I've given you some assignments, like the, picking the five things to stick to every day, but you know. And if it's one that's challenging for you, like, ah, oh, man, the cold shower, I don't know. That's exactly the one that you need to do because growth is on the other side of that. What you resist the most is hiding your biggest blessing and your biggest change. So I recommend you get on it immediately, all right? We'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace.